Hello YouTube. Today we're going to have a look at carrier operations in FSX. There is some capability straight out of the box uh, with static and AI carriers, but to do it justice you really need some third-party software. So SF Carrier 2 is available uh, for free. And to spice things up, you can use um, FS Recorder for formation flying. We're going to be having a look at the F9F Panther. And here we can see some original video from the Paramount Picture Bridges at Toko Rai from 1954. This is a very good video of um, the F9F Panthers. Normally from this era, you just get black and white and very grainy. So this video is quite exceptional. They're flying off the aircraft carrier USS Oriskane CV-34, which was an Essex-class carrier. Commissioned in 1950, decommissioned in 1976. Carry was sunk off Florida in 2006 as a, an artificial reef. So here we've got the F9F Panthers. Came into service in 1949. The first US Navy carrier based jet fighter bomber. Had a good armament for the time. Four 20mm cannon and capable of carrying rockets and bombs. So here we've got the simulator version. And we're going to do a formation flight. You can see the carrier in the distance. It's been positioned at um, five nautical miles ahead of the aircraft. So things are going to have to happen very quickly. These aircraft are both carrying full fuel loads, which makes them heavy and slow. And it is a problem when trying to land on a carrier if you've got too much fuel. So we'll see the consequences of that shortly. Very good model of the F9F Panther from Vertigo Studios. Very nicely done. Scenery is courtesy of Aerosoft. It's the Aerosoft Gibraltar package. So the AI Panther's doing a straight in approach to the carrier. I'll just fly alongside and monitor. 
So everything's dangling, full flaps, gears down. See him over balance there, too much fuel, so overweight on landing. So I'll go round again and make an approach. I'll keep everything dangling as this is going to happen quickly. getting ready for the crosswind turn checks, flaps are down, gears down just about to put the hook down fuel nearly full, overweight See the little dipstick raising in the windscreen there? That's an indication that the hook is now fully down. Okay, lining up. Speed needs to be 115 knots. We're right on the money. Need to get the dipstick on the wires. touch, too heavy, over. Let's try that again with the right weight of fuel this time. So I've taken it down to one-third fuel volume in a different aircraft. I'm lighter so I'm accelerating faster than the AI Panther so I'll chop the throttle let him get ahead speed up again notice I'm climbing a lot faster as well so I just dampen that out offset now for the angle deck full flap gear is down no hook at the moment and okay, we'll just edge in a little closer The AI will overbalance again. We'll go round again, try another approach. So gear down, flaps fully down. really is a nice model hook is now down dipsticks up fuel weight is good okay, 
tighten up the turn for the lineup. Aiming for 115 knots. There you see the ball. Approach angle's good. Get the dipstick on the wire. touch quarter wire this time we're okay fuel weight was good so we'll clean up and try a launch So hook up, flaps to take off, we'll line up over the steam catapult, just going over the jet deflector, jet blast deflector. in line with the shuttle we use the control shift I in order to engage with the shuttle now we are engaged catapult is armed deflectors up check controls launch we'll clean up this time and we'll try a conventional landing back on Gibraltar So at 210 knots we're a bit uh, high on speed so we'll bleed some of that off with some G-turns. Lights are red meaning we're a bit low. Speed's good for gear. Gear down flaps coming down okay the angles about right slightly high speed is good lineups good angles good And there we go, Carrier Ops and FSX. So I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.